We are now officially a League One club. How does that feel? Feels fucking fantastic, baby. Tastes like champagne. It's gorgeous. Love it. When have you drunk champagne? I've never had champagne in my life. It's match day. It's the last game of the League Two season. League Two, we barely got to know you. Today marks our last supper in League Two. Yeah, use it. Uh, pack League Two in a taxi. Get out of here. This is the end of a truly remarkable chapter within a narrative bursting with unexpected turns. Look at these streets now, it's an absolute dream. Just because you're a Hollywood superstar, I didn't need to see if you go in the front of the queue. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. But for us Wrexham fans, this dream has become a reality. Ask Tommy's what he's wearing underneath that, just tell us up, Tommy. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. I have never felt more alive. Fuck okay. yeah, some outfit that boys. My God, it's been some journey. Homer's on the <laughs> As in The Simpsons. That's got Roger's fingerprints all over that. It's me, Hugh Jackman. Football, sweet football, and the very connection it brings has been the love of my life. That's like a boy, boy band singer then, fucking. What a wonderful time to be alive, to be a Wrexham fan. I'm the fucking Chief Shannon. To be Welsh. Here we are. Look at this. On this day, when we take another huge step on this journey. You could do that. <laughs> I've come to speak to the person who's chronicling it step by step. Football and art are like intrinsically linked. Liam is the artist who has literally been painting the town red. It's, it's such an important period uh, in the town's history, the club's yeah. history. When something of this magnitude happens, it's just going to kind of inspire people to kind of like paint the town really I'd yeah. hope you know just deck every wall with a mural of, of some kind that's celebrating what's going on. Nestled in the shadows of the Stoke Kairas the turf is always buzzing with booze and now also with creativity. So here we are with Mr Hollywood here. Hi Lee. <laughs> Thanks to Liam and supportive landlord Wayne, the walls are alive with vibrant murals, shouting out the soul of Wrexham. Starting with our manager, the mighty Phil Parkinson. And I just think Parkinson, he deserves to have a little bit of success um, and a little bit of um, credit. And that was just my way of saying thank you because like I said, it's been a wonderful three years. We are passionate people, we are proud people. And what a way to express that, you know, they're in incredible pieces of art from, from Liam. When Parky came down here to see it, I mean, we've all seen on the documentary, he likes to he likes to drop the F-bomb sometimes as well. Did he come down and he said, Liam, that's fucking outstanding, fucking brilliant. And that's what I was <laughs> expecting, like, uh, but he was so well-spoken, really eloquent, really, like, engaging, really interested in how I got into doing this kind of work. So here we go. This is where the magic happens, baby. This is the, uh, the shepherd's hut in yeah. Deepaub. A market space, food court, and a magnificent art gallery right in the middle of Wrexham. This is where I do all my work, basically. This is probably the one that kicked it all off. Wales, summer 2016. It was the morning of our first game. I finished that 10 minutes before kickoff. By the time I kind of got home, it just blown up. Ding on my phone and it's a picture of Gareth Bale holding holding that. Nearly dropped me a cup of tea, like <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Liam, I've got it. This question's down here. Stevie's making me ask it. I don't want to ask this question, but I'm gonna have to. If you were to paint me, fucking hell, how would you do it and where would it go? Cone on your head, mic in hand. Yeah, that'd have to be it, yeah. Liam is referring to when I allegedly got kicked out of Wrexham's top karaoke bar. <laughs> oh, mate, this is that you, you stitched me right up here. You know, the one where I thought it was a brilliant idea to belt out tunes with a traffic cone on my head. <laughs> I'm the bell end, obviously. No further questions, please. The concluding match of the season was against champions elect Stockport County. A team whose fans have delighted in reminding us at every opportunity that they're the sole team who finished above us. Still, not even needling from Stockport fans was going to harsh my promotion mellow. 
With nothing at stake but pride, it was a time for celebration and revelry. Well, it's a big carnival. Apparently there's a football match on after, but, uh, but yeah, no, I, I don't really care about the football match, to be honest. It's all about celebrating being back in League One. With co-owner Rob McElhenney among us, it was a heartening occasion for him to witness the ongoing evolution of the club he's helped to transform. I assume you're like, mate, it's four hours to kick off. People are queuing. Unbelievable. Tony, how are we doing? Not bad. Are you all right? I'm fine. Five years ago, if you told me there'd be celebrities walking around these streets yeah. and standing in there cheering up, laughed you out the bank. Yeah, you yeah. would. Yeah, yeah, still do. I like that phrase, laughed you out the bank. I've never heard of it. He goes drinking in Puff Madden. You look like you might have had a drink or two. Uh, one and a half. One and a half. You could have fooled me. If I'd have put a bet on five years ago, it would have been for the club to have been actually sort of like going into its death. Yeah. And here we are going into League One. Like, yeah. what a transformation. There he is. Look at that man over there. The, the, the boldest man in Wrexham. I've just walked up the mold road now and I'm watching about 150 people queuing up at the turf, quarter to 11. Yeah. There weren't that many people at quarter to two. No. Five years ago, I think that says it all. I still think. There's like this moment where you're just going to wake up and it's actually been a dream. It just feels like a burden of 20 years of shit football has been lifted. And like everyone is just in celebration mode. Has it changed your outlook as a person, mate? And you know, with all this going on, you know, yeah, your I general think, life. I just think um, it just proves that anything can happen. How better we are, what position we're in, you can easily just talk talk to newer friends, newer circles of friends, and you know, whatever you've got going on in your life, this is a hell of a break from everything in your life. I've met thousands of new friends and. You know, it's just changed the whole outlook of sport. Rex, I look forward to coming to the game a lot more than I used to. My life has changed massively, Tommy. Yeah. It's just been, it's incredible. I've, yeah. I've, I'm smiling more. I feel I might need to have some Botox because of the, the smile and the laughter lines. Wrexham are making people be so, so proud of our country. We've always said there's been a north and south divide, right? And they've always listened to the, the south with your card, it's just one decent. The Welsh pride, we're all part of one. North Wales, Godbeth, Cymru and Beth, you know. But now, all the news you turn on, North Wales, Wrexham is on the news, it's making headlines on national news. Yeah, that's the way in, mate. Good job on wearing shorts. Oh. Oh, Dan's got a score. Big chance of Paul Mullin there. Takes it on his right, hits it his left. I'm actually playing all right, though. Uh, not much in it. Nearly 20 minutes gone. Oh. Yeah, 1 0 Stockport. Celebration's a bit much by Stockport, but they are. It is poor that, it's really poor from Wrexham. All to do now, all to do, oh, half an hour gone. It's half time, all the pies are sold out. I tell you what, Pie Man would be furious. Yeah. So mate, wow. are you day. Bovril? Oh, it's hot. Bovril is the trademark name of a thick and salty meat extract paste, similar to a yeast extract. They're very beefy. That's, that's all I can say to you. Beefy drink? A beefy, a beefy drink. <laughs> if, someone, if, someone, if someone came up with an idea, I've got an idea for a drink, a nice beefy paste, you'd say, you'd tell him, wouldn't you? You'd say, get out of town. Not interested. But um, it works, it's all right. Tommy Scrat rated for a beefy paste. Well, Tommy Scrat rated. I'm going to give Stevie a fucking two because he hasn't got me a pie, he's got me a bovril. Going to go for a 6.4. I think that's fair. You can't buy this in California, baby. <laughs> oh, we missed the goal. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. What's going on? Da -da 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 I missed the goal, I was too busy having a bovril! Fucking Stevie's fault. At the bovril red. There we go, it's a big man over there, Rob McClenny. I bet he'd be absolutely buzzy if you're looking forward to League One, wouldn't you, like we all are? I wonder if he's had a bovril. Two 
Two one for the Reds. Come on! Andy Cannon just popped one in from 20 yards. Brilliant finish. And it's two one to the Reds. Stockport have gone very, very quiet. They may have won the league, but we've got our revenge, baby. The last seconds of the season just out now. What a season it's been. Even the temporary stand is rocking. Hey, what a goal! What a goal! Lap of honour from the players. Absolutely brilliant. They've been fantastic this season. There's been ups, there's been downs. But they've given it everything. And we're there. We're back in League One. I feel amazing. Do you know what it's all about? Just finishing the season well today. We've done that. We've beaten the champions. Hulvaur Kangrantai. Which means goodbye League Two in Welsh. Is your phone on, mate? Is your it phone is, yeah. I know, I know what you've done. You're, a, che you're a cheesy bastard. It's going to be League One calling, isn't it? Hey, look at this. <laughs> oh my God, it's League One calling. League One calling you. Hello. I'll see you in August. Catch up with Wrexham every Thursday on the Men in Blazers YouTube channel. Subscribe with notifications on to never miss an episode.